Welcome back, everyone. Are you taking the kids on the road this summer? We'll keep them busy with fun activities that will last the entire trip. DIY expert and our dear friend, Lynn Lilly, is here to show us how. Where were you two weeks ago, Lynn? Okay, well, I just got back from a road trip, and Lily did really great on the way there, but not so great on the way back. Oh, so gosh. it started sparking some ideas Good. of how do we keep the kids busy after the seventh stop <laughs> in a five and a half hour trip. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> my brain was racking with ideas. Good. to keep kids of all ages busy. Okay, good. So first up, we've got Olivia. Hi, Olivia. So Welcome Olivia's, back. Yeah, she's Thank been on the you. show before, and she is my neighbor. So she is going to be helping us demo the first craft. Okay. So what you need for this is a regular baking sheet and then a magnetic sheet. So the craft store sells these printable magnetic sheets. You can actually put this through your printer and print anything what? you want on it. Oh, my How goodness. How awesome is that? It goes through really easy. So what we did was we actually took a picture of Olivia from, she was actually in our book that we published two Aww. years ago. So we took this picture. And Olivia, go ahead and keep cutting that up for me. Okay. All you got to do is cut up the picture <gasps> into little pieces, and then it is is a magnet this on there. So Olivia great. started cutting up some of the pieces. So you just mix up the pieces, simple as that. And then the best part about this is whether you drop it in the car, you throw it in the trunk, you yes. don't lose all the pieces. I will I tell you, we just cleaned out the toy closet and all of, I said throw out anything as mismatched pieces. So yes. this is such a cute idea, especially when you are in the car. car yep. And I like it that in this first one, you know, we made the pieces very square, I noticed, Lynn. Yep. But if you want to get a little so tricky, a little Olivia's older. Olivia's cutting it up into some like crazy little yeah. jagged edges, right? Yes. So when you can get more intricate, you don't have to do a picture. You could print out, maybe it's a, I don't know, your favorite painting or something like that. You put on the computer, parents get creative with what you print out for your kids. And then again, if they're older, like Olivia is, she can actually cut it up herself and then have it to keep her occupied during I that car trip. I love that. Okay. okay. <gasps> so Hold on, last. Katie, look at what this is. Slime. We have okay. bags and bags of slime in All right, house. so what are we playing with today? So this is a sensory board, right? Yeah, isn't it fun? Yes. So this is really what kind of got me going with Lily. So thinking about her loving touches and feels, yeah. creating a sensory board. So what I've got back here is a few supplies to show you how easy it is to make it. Since our table's a little crowded, I'm gonna yeah. just put these up here. Sure. So taking two pieces of felt, nice. Like and this. just making a sandwich. So you're gonna take your hot this glue gun then. It's called a microphone. Yeah. yeah. You've got one on too. She's, what's this? So all oh. you're gonna do is use your glue gun. So glue the piece of uh, cardboard in between. Got Simple it. and easy. And then frame it with frame your ribbon. With ribbon. And can and you then, see how this would work? We would hang it on the back seat, hang it on uh, the headrest. Yep. So you and sister, y'all could and play. And you can literally but... just put it right in your lap and you've got all these different things that you can touch and feel. The great part about it is you want to glue these on so that the slime doesn't come out of the bag. Perfect. Right? Oh. It's all in there. So no mess in the car. And again, this is nice. You can and just look. slip this under the seat. Yes. You know, whether you want them to actually braid things, you could put some really soft yarn on there. Great. So all those touches and feels. I'll tell you this tin Pool in a bag. Look at that. Kept Lily busy last night while I was working on this stuff for like 30 minutes. She That's just sat awesome. there like, and just felt it. That I love this it. texture and the noise. So okay. simple and easy. Okay, ladies. Hi, honey. What are you guys doing over here? You, you playing tic-tac-toe? Mm -hmm. So again with our cookie sheet, right? Yeah. So I like this because you can use a cookie or a baking sheet for the puzzle or for this. So what we did this is was so we took some scrapbook pieces and as they're playing with it, I want to show you how easy it is to make it. I've got a hot glue gun back here. We love So whether you're out. using different things with your scrapbook, they sell these magnets at the craft store. So these little independent yeah. magnets come for literally like 100 of them for a couple bucks. So just put a little bit of hot glue on the back of anything that you want to make a magnet. And then so we've got just these little characters from <laughs> the scrapbook. Katie. And then Katie's they become, like, my mother never does any right? of this Right? And then they become magnets. And then look. We've got the tic-tac-toe. So guys, do you know how to play tic-tac-toe? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right, okay. who's the X's and who's the O's? What do you think, Katie? You're just little... gonna finish it off. All right. You're gonna finish on, it you off? finish that off, and then look, you've got all these cute little animals to right? play with and as well. Right, and so another fun thing about this is you can't lose the pieces in the crevice because... of the car. Yeah. Ta-da! And one of the things I've noticed, Lynn, um, which is one of the reasons why I love you, is that when it comes to these types of projects, you really can put them together so quickly. So quickly. Guys, I did all of this in like an hour last night. Okay. All, all of, these. of these. All of these. All of them. Okay. So, and they're simple, easy, and inexpensive, yeah. which is what I love. We all know kids are expensive, so we don't have a lot of extra money, right? No, we do not. Yes. No. Okay. So okay. we've got some bonuses for you to end this. 
So an activity jar. So you know the kids get bored even, they may get through all of these activities, but thinking about your popsicle sticks, writing some fun things on them, games that you could play like road games. So vehicle bingo. Oh, you can pick cute. up bingo boards at the dollar store, or maybe it's I Spy, but write a bunch of different easy games on popsicle sticks in a jar. That will keep and them busy. And then pack just a caddy full of all the supplies. So we've got these, which are a dry erase, dollar store for two, right? So, and you've got Oops. your dry erase markers. Got Even it. cards and things like foam board now comes as chalkboard. So you can cut up small pieces of it for them yeah. to play chalk games on it and then wipe like it that? off and reuse it, yeah. right? Pretty cool. So pack this, it's nice, it's compact. You can just go right behind the seat. Okay, now th this looks like you made it. So I actually didn't make this. You didn't? I, I mean, it's so on cute. Sale. You did? I it's so. For like six bucks. Okay. I'm such a bargain shopper. I mean, that is incredible. <laughs> and look at all the fun, fun. But that could be had for hours. And, okay. But I'm telling you guys, hit up your dollar store because there's a bunch of different things that you can get in there. Got it. Okay, last but not least, this is the bonus. How many people have had their kids say, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Have yes. you guys said, are we there yet? Right. Yeah. This one. Okay. So we've got this, and we've got a picture of this up in my car so you can see it. Look but what taking she did. a piece of scotch tape, cutting out the state in which you are traveling from to and the states in between that you're going to go through, and then you have a little car, and you move that car as you get there. So when the kids say, Are you there yet? you say, well, Wait a second. We're only in South Carolina, kids. <laughs> but guess what? We're getting closer, so we can move it to the next. And we just put a little piece of tape on the back of that. And it's all taped, and so it doesn't damage your car. And then at the end of the trip, you just you rip just it off, toss throw it. it away. These are ingenious, and I so needed you two weeks ago. Yes. Know, right? And more importantly, it gets them off the electronics. Absolutely. So, so I'm really big on putting on those iPads. Can you wait to the camera and say bye? Bye. 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 All right, guys, if you want to learn more about any of these projects, please head to craftboxgirls.com or follow Lynn on all social media at craftboxgirls. So cute. I love it.